What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Road to 300 Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Now, in this episode, some action, it just threw me off. Okay, so, hold on, that was the wrong, uh, um, <laughs> this threw me off so much, dude. Gohan's here. <laughs> I thought he wasn't going to come until, like, Wednesday like night or thursday morning you know i thought he wasn't gonna come until then but apparently he's here now which like it threw me away it threw me off like i wasn't expecting him to come though i probably should have been paying it more attention to like the signs and stuff like all the story events are going away you know very soon and a bunch of other stuff you know so it was there but i wasn't paying attention so I mean, the banner's here. I didn't... I wanted to, like, do a couple more videos and farm up a couple more stones, but... Because I did... If you haven't watched the previous video, which you should go watch the previous update video, it's literally the day before. Uh, today's Tuesday, Tuesday night. Um, despite the fact that I just uploaded that video. Oh, my God. Because um, I recorded that video pretty late last night. But that's besides the point. Um... I, I did three summons on, like, the Legendary Summon Banner and the two, like, the Goku and the Vegeta Banner to end off the Celebration because we got so much, so much stuff of the Celebration. It skyrocketed our account, this account, to the moon. Not, not to the moon, but very, like, maybe a tenth of the way to the moon when it comes to, like, having a really good box. You know what I mean? So, and I did 150 stones. I did three multis. Um, I wanted to save up, like, 300 stones to do a proper, like multi video you know what i mean i wanted to do like a really good proper multi video for gohan but i guess i'm not gonna get the opportunity to do that and since we're free to play it's kind of more like well you know like <laughs> i don't really have uh i don't really have an excuse for this you know what i'm saying so um that's very unfortunate but uh gohan is here he brings uh himself garlic jr and super saiyan 4 gogeta's First return. I believe this is his first return on a banner. No, I'm wrong. This is his second return on the banner. Um, but, dude, Garlic Jr., both Garlic Jr. and Gohan are actually really good. I like them both. Um, obviously, the... Uh, so, this is kind of an update video slash... Uh, I'll say this now. This is kind of an update video slash, like, summon video. So, if you guys want to see the summons, it's be the last five minutes and stuff like that. So... Um, so we do get, we do go, so the celebration brings the heavily event category and these are the category summons. So I did talk about, I think, I don't know how long ago I did talk about summoning on like these small categories. If they were worth it, the heavily event category in general to me, isn't that impressive. However, isn't that impressive? However, you know, we'll see. I probably won't do the heavily event category summons because Again, the event doesn't really speak my, you know, speak volumes for me. You know what I'm saying? The category itself. So there are good units within the heavenly event category, but it's like off the top of my head, um, super like any, 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 any character that trained in the hyperbolic time chamber is there or any a character that was part of that. You know what I mean? So all the go tanks is super Vegeta, super super vegeta super trunks you know what i mean gohan you know what i mean like they're all there so it definitely has a good variety but it doesn't really speak huge amounts of volume for me it really doesn't um the elder kai banner obviously we're gonna save up 100 stones and then summon on this because we got a bunch of units we gotta level up um new delcon event not too crazy there uh the demonic threat uh this is an ssr piccolo he's actually not that bad I don't think it gets an easy. I can't remember the top of my head. But then there's the Brilliant Autumn Pack. We'll take a look at this here very soon. Uh, another Ultimate Clash happening here very soon. I'm definitely going to be doing a video on that. Probably going to be uh, for Wednesday upload and stuff like that. So, And then obviously the reopening the story events for the Namek Saga. Like this is just a super generic one. So the Piccolo, uh, the Piccolo, the Gohan, and then the Frieza I didn't get to. So I'm going to be finishing up. All three of them within the celebration. I got a whole month to do this. so, um, And all their easy A's are open, you know, for the s same duration as the event is here. However, we do get something quite good. We get physical coolers easy A that's coming next week, next Tuesday. 
This guy, dude, is so good. I, I'm not gonna buy stones and I'm not gonna buy packs. I already have him rainbow on my other account, like by years ago, right? But he himself is insanely good. So I might do a couple summons on the Extreme Z Dokkan Festival uh, banner. This like easy A banner. Um, it's not that bad. There's only three feature units, so if you get a feature unit guarantee. You're going to get all three. You're going to get one of three. And I think his banner, obviously, is Super Gogeta, him, and I think it's um Omega. I think it's a, one of the 70% leaders. It's either STR or Omega. I think it's STR or Omega. I, I can't remember. I don't think it's him, though. Uh, but this is the other thing. I was looking at the details here on my main account. The Super Saiyan Category Summon. This Category Summon is probably another one we're probably going to throw stones at at least the first three which is the discounted stuff which is under 100 stones you get three full 10 unit multis and they're all super saiyans and the super saiyan category itself is pretty stacked and has pretty powerful units there's a lot of meh units in there too because it's one of the oldest categories in the game it's one of the has some of the oldest characters in the game right but that itself is good now Here's the other thing too. With the Easy A comes the Easy A uh, challenge packs. Do I recommend getting these? Yes and no. Are they better than stone? If you want to get cooler, are they better than stones? Yes, because you also get Kai's, you get medals, you get you know you training items, you get a bunch of other stuff. So you do get some other stuff outside. And I think they're only five bucks. So I recommend picking this up. Yes, if you're trying to go for cooler, but if you already have cooler just the one copy of them you know they may or may not be worth your while they're only five bucks you know use your discretion of how you want to spend money and stuff like that um the gt events are coming back though this is this is another one right here this one's getting updated i i think this is just for metals not for metals um for uh I think this just like adds skill orders, no, right? Unless I'm thinking about something completely different. I forget what this one does. But that obviously a bunch of the DG like he this is coming back, you know what I mean? I would imagine some more GT stuff is gonna be coming back. Uh Guru's gonna be coming back when it's another free one hundred percent card recruit SSR cooler on your team's strongest rivals. And then obviously um these EZAs are here. Oh, so the third character is going to be Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Then, okay. So the third character for uh, Physical Cooler's Easy A banner, his Extreme Easy A banner, is going to be Vegeta. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. And then Gears event. So that's pretty much it. This is a very small celebration. This is going to last for the month of October, the entire month of October, towards the second half. Of October, we will be getting not. A, it's gonna be like a part two Autumn Fest, um, but whether we now to get a global first, we're gonna get the LR Piccolo and Go and Goku card that comes with the celebration. It's an LR banner. Um, they're really good. I'm not gonna be summoning for them at all. Absolutely not. Um, especially what's coming next. Oh, dude, definitely not gonna be summoning for them, right? Um, you know, so we still got plenty of stones to grind, plenty of events to do. So this. This summoning for this guy. I haven't fully decided yet. Because I do want him. But I also don't want to spend unnecessary stones on him. Because we are getting to the end of the year. And the end of the year summons. The step up banners are ends. Absolutely insane. And we might get him then. We'll try to do his easy A. But I doubt. I forget what is what is uh, what's his effective against. I don't actually remember. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and take take on the, uh, I think that's it. And obviously the campaign's ending and the new events and stuff like that, right? So nothing too crazy there. Um, oh, I did. I haven't accepted my, uh, my logins and stuff like that. Hold on. Let's go ahead and do the Dragonstone. So I haven't bought anything. Let's go to the special tab and check out the Autumn Pack. This Autumn Pack, if, is actually not that bad. It's one multi, right? With tickets. You don't get anything else but that. However, you do get a lot of stuff, right? 
you get money, you get Kai's, you get meat, you get training items, you training, uh, training items, training areas. You know what I mean? You get an equip, you get some orbs, and you get a 20 multi. I believe it's a 20 multi ticket. Do I think this is worth it for 34 bucks? No, I don't. However, this is basically like one or two multis, and you're guaranteed a featured, I believe, right? Um, let me actually check. Let me not. Let me just not throw that up. Yeah, one featured SSR character guaranteed per multi. And this is one SSR character guaranteed. So you're guaranteed a um, you're guaranteed a featured SSR, which the banner itself, I mean, Gohan's not that bad. Gohan's pretty good. Garlic Jr. is very good, one of the best side banner characters in the game. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is an absolute unit, dude. An absolute unit. Uh, uh, in future Gohan is actually really, really good. Um, physical Piccolo, he's not that bad. You know what I mean? Uh, Android 13, he's actually really good. You know, he's definitely underrated. I think he's definitely underrated. He's kind of a boring character. He does just one thing, you know. But he, he's kind of a, a shittier, cooler, if you, if you could take that. You know what I mean? Um, that's, you know, if so, if you like cooler, you might like him. But this, he's like for the androids and stuff like that. So, um, STR, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku. He's very good. I like him. I personally like him, but he's aged very poorly, unfortunately. Whenever, whenever he gets an easy A, whether it be probably two, three years from now, right? If the game lasts that long, which I feel like it'll last that long, this guy's going to be insane. And that's pretty much it. So the roster's not bad. Out of, out of your seven choices, one, two, three, four, like four of them are completely worth it. And then the other three are kind of a coin flip if you don't have them or you don't even need them or you need or you need a little bit of dupes for them you know what i mean um but you're it's a 20 mo it's a 20 it's a 20 ticket multi and i believe this is a ussr i believe you get 20 characters yeah you get 20 characters in this so you're guaranteed a featured so that in of itself is worth because i mean if you take care if you look at the special sale you pay about literally the same, just a dollar, a dollar less, for a multi, and not even barely even two multis, for a chance to not just an SSR. You know what I mean for two multis, but you pay like two more dollars, right? If you're looking at this money wise and value wise, you're at least guaranteed a featured, which is one in seven chance for the most part, and over half of those choices are very good options unless you have everything rainbowed it's still worth your while though if you go over the two if you can only buy one thing 91 stones or the tickets i would go for the autumn pack i would go 100 percent for this right here over stones where you could get two multis and not get any features you could pay the same amount and get a guaranteed feature you know what i mean it might not be the one you want but you're guaranteed a feature instead of wasting your stones and wasting your money. You know what I mean? If we're talking about that. With that being said, obviously, I'm not getting it. So, you know, shit out of luck. Actually, I do have a fair amount of stones on my main account. So, I might do a big summoning video on my main account. See if we can get... Because I do want multiple copies of, of Super Saiyan 4 Go, Go, uh, Gogeta. And I do more, need more copies of future gohan and all the characters on that list except except piccolo kyle can go come missing like two or three copies and android 13 i think i just finished them up just recently i think i finished them up on my main account but like future gohan i'm missing like maybe one or two gogeta i'm missing one and two and i already told myself that i'll buy the the second copy of them so the the third the second dupe of them if i don't get them because i want two copies i want two dupes in them i use them i use them a lot he's one of my favorite characters uh garlic jr would be a good character to get and obviously the new card gohan wouldn't be bad to get either right so um with that being said there really isn't much else to say in the way of what i'm going to be doing um I'm definitely going to just be doing the story event and getting that Piccolo done and just awakening my character. This is definitely a slow, a very slow time for us right now, um, for sure. So this is, this is literally going to be a lot of catch up for me, for sure. Um, he'll, this Piccolo awakens, uh, in 
part two. This is part one, unofficial part one, right? Um, but this Piccolo awakens, so uh, wait for that when the second banner comes out. So we'll get him done. I don't know if he's the A's. I don't think he's the A's, but um, it gives me a chance to go through all these story events and like just clear them out, level up my characters, awaken my characters, maybe and go through some of these um, easy A's and, do, and you know, all my challenge stuff. So that's going to be the four for me. It's going to be fixing up my account and all that. So with that being said, guys, let's jump into the multis. I'm sorry I rambled on for a little bit, but this is... It was supposed to be just an update video before, like, during the celebration. I was supposed to have, like, three, four hundred stones for this banner because I was going to grind up that many. Definitely have plenty of video ideas, and I was going to grind up a lot of stones. But apparently, it, it, just, it just, the game, the fucking card just came out. Like, I thought, I was expecting him, like, a day or so later. I was not expecting him. Like, I got on, I was like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, uh-oh. So, let's jump in. With our first multi. Dude, can we get him first multi? That'd be nasty, dude. That'd be freaking nasty. Okay, we didn't get first multi. Ah, uh, well, is that a pair? Is MVP 17 and Piccolo a pair? I don't think they are, right? No, they're not. They don't even fight together. At all. Like in the Terminal of Power. They, they don't fight each other. Would I? Okay, so that's another thing. What, do I recommend summoning on this banner? Ooh, we got a movie hero. STR Super Saiyan Vegeta. This is the God Vegeta from the Broly movie. That's very good. He's actually really good. I like him a lot. He guards, you know, he does fair damage. Uh, and he's an STR. He's a super STR leader. So that's good. Okay. Trunks on my. So that's a featured. So who do we want? Literally anybody. <laughs> we don't have any of the cards. I can use any of those cards. Preferably out of all of them, I want Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But, dude, I'll take any of them. Second multi. Imagine second multi Gohan. Dude, I'll take Garlic Jr. 110% too. I need villain characters. Oh, we got future Gohan. So we didn't get the young one, but we got future Gohan. Dude, that's 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 amazing, dude. He's very good. Yes, I'll take that 110%, dude. 110% I'll take future Gohan. That's another Int character. Oh, we got a Int Cell. Really? He's actually not that bad. He easy A's with a uh, with a pretty good uh, leader skill, at least for us, for int types, right? For extreme int types. We definitely need variety there. But, dude, another great hybrid Saiyans leader. I think this is our first big hybrid Saiyans leader. He himself pairs up very well, dude. So, I'm definitely happy for that. 110%. Very, very much satisfied with these three multis these three small multis we're gonna be doing more multis on this banner as the celebration goes on oh another featured unit bro oh it's Zeno! Woo! yo what dirt what <laughs> yo we got him we got gohan we got the new gohan where is he don't be last multi be like don't be less. Don't be less card. There he is. Woo! Look at him. Look at him, bro. We got Zeno. Zen fucking Zeno, dude. Oh my god. That is amazing, dude. Third multi. Wow. <laughs> Can we get Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? <laughs> Yo! Let's go, dude. Look at that. Oh, dude, I'm definitely going to get him done. Dude, he's so strong. He's so defensively good, dude. That is amazing. Oh, my God. I see me so many guys. Gohan Kid. The Namek Gohan Kid. From the story event, he counts. I, ha I think I have to get him awakened. But he counts. To level up his SA. We'll, we'll see how... I go about leveling this guy up. I think there's other Gohan kids in the game that I can farm, but we'll see. Either way, dude, we got the new card. Holy shit. Um, that worked, and we got Whis. This Whis is trash. Eventually, this Whis is going to get an easy A. And, dude, every single Whis that has been awakened, like the AGO Whis that awakened... From the extreme extermination event, he's very good, and once he gets an easy, he's gonna be nasty. The STR uh, like uh, banner Weiss is very good, so I would imagine the easy like the tech Weiss, 
this int wheeze, and I think there's one more wheeze. They're all going... No, uh, I think there's a... Is there a physical wheeze? I don't actually remember. But, nonetheless, these wheezes are going to be insane when they're easy A. Um, and I'm definitely going to keep them around. You know what I'm saying? But, dude, look at that. Let's go ahead and hit the uh, SR Acquired. Look at that. Don't pay attention to the, the second half. It's really the first row. Uh, don't pay attention to none of that stuff. I'm still organizing and doing stuff, right? So... Let's not let's not pay let's not pay attention let's not pay attention to the uh, the bottom half, um, but we got Kid Gohan, dude, absolutely an absolute powerful unit, and we got Future Gohan, dude. So we got do two Dokkan Fest units, absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm very very satisfied with this. Um, so with that being said guys, I do appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications to get notified whenever I post a brand new video Of the road to 300 series or any other future stuff that I do, you know what I mean? You never know I might do something crazy. All right guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace